reporting from Guitar Show, Padua, Italy. Ibanez booth. Why am I at Ibanez when actually uh, I review the Ibanez guitars at home? Well, because they're, they're sending me one of the Quest series guitars. Actually, one that's not here, so I have a chance to show you. I don't know, Italian. This many more. So, Quest series is headless. I can tell you this much. Um, I have no idea, literally no idea, how they're holding in these holders. I literally don't know. So, but they somehow are on hangers. We have a three-piece neck, which is uh, uh, roasted maple, roast, oh, roasted bird's eye maple fretboard. And then uh, the thing that I can never remember. Maple and Bubinga. Uh, flat black, it is rather light. Nice shaping in the back. It's thinner on the top, a little bit S-type-ish, a little bit S-type-ish, but not at the bottom, which is kind of a shame, but okay. Uh, feels very, very nice to handle. Uh, looks like maybe Fusion Edge pickups in this thing, Mono Bridge pickups. Q58 neck passive. So they're Q58 neck passive. Uh, and bridge passive. That's what they look like. Haven't played one. Uh, this is what they're doing on top. So you have to have a wrenchy penchy to open that. So this has slanted frets. Now these frets are not fan fret. They are merely slanted. Now why is that? It is because when you're doing the modern tappy tap stuff, then I'll show you, I'll put the microphone in my pants. That's the difference, having to do the 90 degree angle with the hand like this, or actually a little bit 8 degree further down. Nice, and... I mean, it's going, yeah, Jesco, Jessica, Evo, blah, 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 gold frets. But really, I don't know, I'm, they're gold. So I don't know if that's my thing, but that says something about quality. I don't know how that's holding. We have another slanty fret thing. This is the seventh string with, with a beautiful Buckeye burl kind of a top. And for a seven string, rather light. It looks like it's a Nayeto body or what other people would call some kind of um, mahogany. It's a veneer, obviously. This is a veneer. There's, it's not a top. It's, it's a very thin veneer. But it looks really, really nice. I love that shaping on the lower horn right there. That's kind of really cool. This has a five-piece neck construction. And this is what the Quest Bridge looks like for those of you who haven't scoured the internet for all the information already. Now, let's talk about, oh, nipple gate, no nipple. Look at this, because it's not the Fujigan factory where they put the nipples on the tabs, which is here, it's Indonesia, and they know how to not nipple it up. But what the crap Ibanez is with this switch tip? I mean, is this a tally switch tip? What is this? You know, tell you, Savalas, whatever. The first thing you need to do when you get this is like the switch, and if you don't, buy yourself another switch. Because I don't get it. Five position, all good. I'm liking a lot about these. I like the, oh, these knobs. I mean, this, this one is not centered and it warbles a bit, but that switch, what the crap? So, if you are, of course, into more traditional stuff, then you're not going to buy this. But if you're into traditional stuff, we have HSS here. Oh, <laughs> this is a lot heavier. What? The? This is heavier than the seven string. How is this heavier than the seven string? Wow. Um, roasted maple, Bubinga, Lumen Lace. I mean, all the good shit is in here. Why is this so heavy compared to the other one? That makes no sense. Uh, then we've got HSS. 
I'm in Italy. Come on, if you're exhibiting guitars, take the plastic off, because that doesn't look good. It's on the pickups. It's on the pickguard. Those are show guitars. Then please show us the guitars. Ibanez, 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 Italy. I said Ibanez, Ibanez. Um, this is of course the HSS versions with straight, uh, straight frets. So you get everything. You get HH with slanted or straight. You get HSS with slanted or straight. I think the finish is cool. I've already seen it on the HP guitars, on the 42 HPs, or the high performance. It's nice. No, no, nothing says Ibanez on these guitars. Like literally nothing about them says Ibanez other than up there it says Ibanez. Um, not the shape, nothing. But that shouldn't deter us from liking them because they're very ergonomic guitars. So that leaves us Dr. Dan's other favorite, which of course is total bullshit because he's not a metal guy. So he's just trying to tell us Ibanez. Oh, Mike's up there. Come on, stay. Stay. Good. Dr. Dan's other favorite is, of course, the new Axion, Axion, Axionum, Axionum label. No, Dan, that's, that's a lie. You're just like, look at the new Ebony stuff. Come on, I know you think they're cool. You would never buy one. So don't tell us that it's your personal favorite. Tell us that they're cool, which they are. I mean, black is not a color. Some of you would say it is. I would say, Give me an action label like this. I'd buy that for twice the money. Make it, Ibanez. I'm gonna go grab some Axion stuff. I have to steal a guitar. I'm back with seven strings. Seven strings and a lot, a lot of pointy shit. And a Floyd. And this is a massive instrument. Doesn't come in a case because who can carry that case? It's the Cyphos, now evolved. Dan has shown us all the ev evol evolution on Andy's channel, of course. But uh, there's a, there are so many edges on this thing. It's ridiculous. You should see the shaping in the back. It is the XPTB720. No locking tuners. Well, because of course you have locking here. There is a volute, which is good. The tuners are goto. My arm is falling off because, man, that's heavy. Look at the shapings in the back. Look at the little corner out there. Who wants something? PayPal. I paid 19 bucks to TubeBuddy so that I can find tags for you guys. That's what I spend money on every month. Nice shapings. Uh, pick up switch position I'm not sure about man I don't know if I want to have this on stage then again uh, it's a young man's game come on so I like the fretboard which has a little bit of a first of all nothing in it but also a little bit of a green two color thing going on of course we have lumen lays it is an Ibanez who knows what trim with pickups from who knows what look it up I don't know, the information is over there. I put this back. Ta-da! And, um, and, and that's, uh, that's all the Ibanez stuff. There's of course more shapes. Go on the website, look it up. What do you want from me? Ah, you come here for information. <laughs> Wrong channel for that. I will review the new Axion label. I will review the Quest series. And I'm looking forward to that because I like what I see, except for that switch tip. That's it for me and Ibanez and Italy and Padua and Andy somewhere and Jens is somewhere. Fun, fun times. Thanks, Kitasha, for having us. Animals at the end.